Tomorrow on Soho Stories. Boom, 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 it's boom, Sugar boom. Cane's big night. Lift it up. Can she pull it off? Split it there. Eleven fifteen on BBC Two. I was aiming to do astrophysics. As the aliens continue their experiments on Earth. Orange juice. Non-toxic. Sally undertakes a mission. I think somebody has an admirer. Now can we talk about me? Her first Earth date. He asked me where I'd been all his life. You didn't tell him. All the coordinates. <laughs> Third Rock from the Sun, Thursday at 9 on BBC Two. Now on BBC Two, a look at the weather prospects with Michael Fish. Hello there. The horrendous weather we promised you certainly came off and came off with a vengeance. We saw winds of over 90 miles an hour and several places having at least an inch of rain. The worst is more or less over now, but it's going to take most of the night and into the first part of tomorrow before that area of low pressure is eventually far enough away for those winds to significantly die down. But you, they will, as you see, for the middle of tomorrow, the area of low pressure by that time into Scandinavia. Then for the south, we have high pressure taking over, quieter conditions, but the north always a run of tram lines coming in from the west, bringing further Atlantic systems, keeping it changeable and windy with rain at times. Now we started off with a lot of heavy rain across the north through Scotland, just some showery outbreaks in other areas, but the whole of these areas of rain swung around from the west during the course of the day, and we've seen this really wet weather moving across most parts during the evening and into the night. Now there's the area of low pressure where it was a short time ago, a slap bang over East Anglia, and if we mix in the rain, you see there's still outbreaks of rain over a good part of England and Wales, clearing away now from Scotland and Northern Ireland. And as that low continues to move away, pulling the winds around to the northwest, so all but uh, East Anglia, the East Midlands, much of Southern England, will be in the clear by the end of the night, but those winds bringing a fair number of showers onto those north-facing coasts. We've still got the very, very strong, severe gales, uh, even in the extreme south and southeast there, but uh, in other parts the winds are swinging now into the west and in the northwest, and all parts will have these northwesterly winds by the end of the night, but even those are going to be quite strong, still gales or severe gales along that east coast. And at the end of the night, as we saw a while ago, still some outbreaks of rain over that southeastern corner. The odd shower over the Scottish mountains could be quite wintry. Turning colder from the north during the night, but no, I don't think it's going to prevent it really for most of the time being pretty mild in those southernmost parts. In the day we start off still with outbreaks of rain just for the first few hours across East Anglia and the southeast, the odd shower in other parts. Those showers I think will get lighter and more scattered eventually dying away. The rain will move away from the southeast and for most of us a very different day. It'll be dry, it'll be bright and there'll be some sunshine from time to time as well. Although the cloud thickening again in northwestern areas right at the very end of the day. The winds in the northwest throughout the whole day, but those two easing down, although staying quite strong right the way along that uh, east coast. But it is going to be colder, certainly in that wind tomorrow. Temperatures uh, several degrees down on today's 10 or 11 or so. On Wednesday, we're going to find southern parts probably fine and dry, but some outbreaks of rain moving in across Scotland, Northern Ireland, more particularly into westernmost parts of Scotland. That rain moves on across the rest of the country on Thursday. Somewhat brighter weather with showers following along behind to all parts. Looking at the European scene, we're going to keep high pressure through most parts of the Mediterranean, at least the central Mediterranean, but the more northern areas of Europe settling in, enjoying our unsettled and windy weather. So if you want some sunshine, head for the Mediterranean. How can sleep good night there. Oh, good night there. improve your business? Improve your managerial skills or help tackle your tax returns. If you're familiar with one of these, and you've got one of these, call 03 